for joining us here to celebrate Singapore's 56th birthday. Of course, my name is Wayne Chan and with me is one of my favourite female MC. She's none other than Corinne Lim. And of course, if you find her voice familiar, it's because you might have heard her on Media Corp's Love 97.2 最爱频道。没错，所有线上朋友们，大家傍晚好，非常欢迎大家来出席我们的哥本巴庐线上国庆庆祝会。那今天呢，我们是由于疫情关系啊，没有办法跟你面对面来好好的庆祝。可是别开心，我们通过线上也是可以跟大家呢欢庆国庆佳节。That's right. You're absolutely right, Corinne. You know, even though we're not physically with you, we still feel you watching us right now. And of course, uh, we want you to celebrate with us wherever you are. You might be watching on the bus. You might be watching on the MRT, in a taxi, at home, in the office, wherever you are. Join us right over here and keep it locked at Kebun Baru. And you know, I'm really excited about、uh, today for many different reasons. First of all, we have an exciting program, and we've got wonderful prizes. We have some two hundred and fifty dollars worth of prizes to give away, and we have not one, not two, but ten different quiz segments for people to win some cool vouchers. That's absolutely correct. And of course, for those of you who are watching us,、uh, we are doing live stream via our Kaban Baru Facebook page as well as the YouTube page. So, like what we mentioned, okay, be sure to help us to like and share this video because we want to reach out to even more people. And you may just be one of the lucky people to bring home our exciting vouchers. We're giving away two hundred and fifty. Well. 对了，不要忘记 like and share. And of course, we have lots of talent performing for us tonight. First of all, we have a special guest band by the musical director of Dim Sum Dolly, a mystical magic show, and of course,、uh, most importantly, a special segment featuring the talents of our friends and neighbors, fellow residents right here at Kebun Baru. So who knows? You might get your five seconds of fame tonight. 没错，但是说呢，我们今天晚上为大家呢，已经准备了非常精彩的节目。聪明的你一定要锁定在我们的直播。那但是说呢，我们待会儿呢，哇，我们今晚的卡斯哈、哦、非常强大的阵容哦，每一个呢都是卧虎藏龙。所以呢，如果说哎你是我们哥本巴鲁的这个居民的话呢，可能你的面孔会出现在我们直播里头，一定要敬请期待喽。That's right. I love that. All the crouching tiger and hidden dragons.、Mm-hmm. You know, this is a this is a little bit of a joke about crouching tiger and hidden dragons. Did you know in the movie Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragons,、uh-huh. why do we not see any tigers or dragons in it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's because they are all crouching and hidden. <laughs> Sorry, a bit of let's go <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you're excited to celebrate Singapore's 56th birthday, I want you to show some love in the comments right now. Tell us what you love most about Singapore. What's Singapore spirit to you? And Karin, what do you love most about our lovely country? Okay, I am a foodie, so I love all the delicious makan that we have over here in Singapore. What about you? Me, I love our wonderful multicultural society. I mean, we have so many different people from all over the world,、mm-hmm. and we not only get to partake in the food, but the culture as well. But what I love most about Singapore is that no matter where we are from, we are always standing together. We're always united, and I believe that when we stand together, we can overcome anything. That's right. So for those of you who are watching our live stream right now, be sure to write down some comments. We would love from you, love to hear from you. And of course,、um, you know this brings us to a next video that we would love to share with you. So like what Wayne has mentioned, you know, multicultural is one of our key features and something that we celebrate so much in Singapore. So of course, right now we'd like to showcase this special video to tell you more. Let's watch the video. Enjoy. We've been through some rough and challenging times, regardless of the past or present. Challenges will always present themselves, whether you expect them. Or not.
But when we overcome challenges, together as one, we will carry each other through. For challenges will come and go, but your stories will keep us stronger together. All right, we hope you've enjoyed that wonderful video. And of course, I just love this campaign. Stories are so powerful. Hey! <laughs> Who do we have here? This is our very, very good friend. This, of course, is the uh, mystifying Imran. If you're wondering why he's here tonight, it's because he is not only going to be doing magic, he is going to do a very special sand art performance later on. So he's just coming here to say hi. He's getting ready with his equipment. Thank you so much for joining us, Imran. Oh, I always love watching Imran in action, don't you? Absolutely. So, friends, we have a very talented friend. He's a very talented friend. He's a very talented friend. Now, before that, everybody, you know, if we take a focus back on the video earlier on, um, like what you've seen, that we are definitely stronger together. And stories are so powerful, don't you think so, Wayne? They are absolutely amazing. You know, when we read about the uh, stories of the people around us, regardless of race, language, or religion, we are reminded again of our Singapore spirit. And you know, right now, we would like to invite you to use the power and tell your story. Tell us your best memories of living in Singapore or about your hopes and dreams for Singapore. 没错，这位朋友们，就如影片里头所跟你呃解释的话呢，我们希望你都可以把你的故事呢成交上来，就有机会可以赢取二十块钱的礼券哦。That's right. We've got some wonderful vouchers. If you watch that video just now and you manage to、uh, scan the QR code, you will be able to win some wonderful vouchers. All right, if you can take part in our wonderful story submission、uh, competition over there, absolutely、mm -hmm. wonderful. Now the good news is, of course,、uh, you can win twenty dollars of vouchers. And moving on with our next segment, we're going to reward some of our wonderful friends with、uh, who came early. You know, thank you so much for coming early. We're going to have our first quiz segment right now. And of course,、uh, our fun quiz will be keep popping up throughout tonight. It's based on knowledge about Singapore, Kebun Baru neighborhood, and of course, the brand new Mayflower MRT station that's going to be launched at the end of this month. 嗯，所以呢，既然我们是要欢庆新加坡五十六岁的国庆佳节呢，所以我们现在两个就要化身成为财神爷跟财神婆。<笑>我们要送给你呃二十块钱的 NTUC 购物礼券，可是呢，要先考一考你哈，看一下你到底对新加坡有多么的认识。好不好？准备好的话呢，就一定要锁定我们的直播，然后把你的答案写出来。That's right. You know,、uh, we are the modern version of the Tyson here. Yeah, we're、huh? so hot. The twenty twenty one version of、uh, brand new rebranded Tyson here, Tyson Pool. <laughs> you know,、uh, in order to win this、uh, wonderful quiz, you must type in the full correct answer into the chat box on Facebook.、Mm -hmm. All right, and、uh, this is very important, especially for some of you who are watching. Right now, because、uh, for administrative purposes, I believe we'll only be selecting winners from our Facebook feed. So make sure you're with us on go.gov.sg/ourkebunbaru or simply look for our Kebun Baru on Facebook. Right now. 没错，所以朋友们，如果说想要赢取奖品的话呢，就一定要锁定我们的 Facebook 脸书直播，因为就只有通过这样子的一个频道呢，才可以让你赢取奖品。好了，说了那么多，希望你做好准备喽。我们第一道问题 ，What's the first question? Ready or not, here we come. This is the first question. What is the name of the building commonly known as the Durian? 哇塞，我知道。You know the answer? Yes. You know, I, what's the answer? Cannot say. Cannot, cannot get long. <laughs> is it? Is it? So type the answer right now in the box. Is it the Istana? I was thinking the Istana. No, 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 no. I thought the Istana should be like a durian because then all the spines protect our president. No. <laughs> it's not that one. It's it's the one um somewhere central in Singapore with a lot of performing arts taking place. Okay, that's a very, very, very good clue. All right, it's、mm. uh, somewhere in the middle of Singapore, very, very central, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. So we've、okay. got question one now, and now question two. Okay, I think this one's a bit more challenging.、Mm. Okay, question is, where is Singapore's highest point? It's a very good question. Actually, it... I didn't know at first, lad. Did you? <laughs> where is Singapore's highest point? I, not everybody knows this, but you know, I think it's something that was probably、uh, covered inside our primary school textbooks. You know. 
I, yeah. I forget already. The generation get ready. Yeah. I return everything to Lao Shi. Where <laughs> could it be? Where is Singapore's highest point? Is it Marina Bay Sands? No, 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 no. no. It, Not it, Marina Bay Sands? Think about all the different hills in Singapore. <laughs> That's right. Think about all the different hills in Singapore. That's a very, very good clue. Okay, we'll give you a clue. It is not Red Hill. Not Red Hill. <laughs> is it one of the hills in Paya Lebar? Always, uh, always uh, told Paya Lebar. There's a lot of hills. It's a very hilly region. No, 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 no. no. All right. So, everybody, right. I hope you've been uh, able to capture our hints. Remember to key in your answers via the Facebook feed so that you may just be one of the lucky people to walk home with $20 anti UC voucher. That's right. Of course, we'll be announcing the winners at the end of our show, and there are going to be another eight more quiz questions we're going to ask. So, do stay tuned with us all the way till the end. And of course, right now, everybody, we are going to check in on Imran. That's right, because I believe we're now ready to move on to our next segment of our exciting program. And that is going to be a very special sand art performance that will take us on a magical journey through time, celebrating the story of our Singapore spirit. 没错，很快的，我们将会由 Imran 为我们带来非常精彩的沙画表演，而且呢，他会通过沙子来描绘出新加坡五十六年来的历史以及哥本巴鲁的美。So let's check out the video right now.
It isn't easy building something out of nothing, especially when the road ahead's a rocky one. But if we gather all our courage and conviction and hold our dream up high, the challenge will be won. So now we look around us and we see a nation built with love by you and me. A land to treasure right down to the core Our home, our heart, our Singapore oh, 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 Our home, our heart, our Singapore through many years gone by, we've moved ahead together. We've built a brave new world where we could shine and grow. And now we only have to look towards tomorrow to carry on the dream as far as it will go. So now we look around us and we see a nation built with love by you and me. A land to treasure right down to the core. Our home, our heart, our Singapore. Oh, 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 Amazing as it seems, it all started with a dream, and our dreaming isn't done, cause the best is yet to come. So now we look around us and we see a nation built with love by you and me. A land to treasure right down to the core Our home, our heart, our Singapore oh, oh, oh. And that was a really beautiful performance once again, of course, uh, by our dear friend, uh, Mr. Bang Imran, and of course, uh, that sand art bear telling our Singapore story, the Singapore story. That was absolutely beautiful. Do you enjoy that, Karin? 没错，但是人非常非常喜欢，因为我觉得那个沙画呢，就是非常精细而且精美的描绘出了呢新加坡的美啊，但是也包括了我们哥本巴乳的漂亮的一些非常景色啊，大家会认得的一些呃景点。I love that. That's right. You not only did it have the Singapore spirit, but also managed to work in some elements of Kebun Baru, including the CC itself. I absolutely love that. Now, for those of you who just joined us, uh, we're going to be going on with our quiz segment once again. Uh, some of you might have seen it already just now, but just mm -hmm. for our friends on Facebook right now, we want to let you have a chance to play our quiz segment again. Now, of course, uh, we have uh, two questions for you. And of course, if you get the right answer and if you're selected as one of our lucky winners, you stand to win a $20 NTUC voucher. And we start with first question. What's the first question? Okay, before that, we'd like to encourage everybody to head on over to our Facebook page. That's our Koban Baru. Uh, I understand that there were some technical issues earlier on, but it's all been fixed. So guys, just hop on over to Facebook, our Koban Baru. Join in the comment section so that you may just be one of the lucky winners. Okay, so question number one. What is the name of the building known as Liu Lian? Durian. <laughs> Durian, the king of fruits, Singapore's favorite fruit. We love it so much, we decided to make a building that looks like <laughs> a durian as well. Exactly, right? What is that building called? What could it be? Mm -hmm. I, I, I see quite a lot of them who are already answering not bad. 
most of you do know the answer, then be sure to just, um, you know, write it in the comment section and good luck to you. Absolutely wonderful. We have so many uh, knowledgeable residents here at uh, Kebun Baru. And we're going to go on to the second question. Uh -huh. The second question is, what is Singapore's highest point? Now, of course, uh -huh. we're talking about a naturally occurring highest point, okay? That's right. Well, I, I do see that somebody who has wrote Guoco Tower, we're not looking at infrastructure, we're looking at natural highest point. The natural highest point, something that's naturally occurring. What could it be? Mm. Mm, that's right. So everybody help us to like and share, and of course, write down your answers. Good luck. You may just be the one to bring home $20 and UC voucher. All right. Now, of course, uh, for those of you who are just joined us, we'll have uh, another eight more quiz questions later on. And so we have uh, more chances to win. And of course, uh, do stay tuned with us all the way to the end of the program because we'll be announcing the winners over there. Now, coming up next, you know, following that work of art we had sent out just now, we have another work of art that we're going to be presenting right now. Now, this is actually a very special video giving you a sneak peek into the new Mayflower MRT. That's going to be open on 28th August. Now, the station design is inspired by Mayflowers, beehives, and songbirds in the area and has seven entrances to make it even more accessible. In fact, the new station will link the Thompson East Coast Line to Caldecott Interchange, allowing all in Kerbin Borough to enjoy convenient connections to the rest of Singapore's real network. Isn't that wonderful? Caldecott. 其实就可以让你呢联系到 Circle Line 所以呢大家就是很方便可以告达新加坡各个地点哦而且呢听说有七个不同的入口处哦所以呢肯定大家都可以非常方便的抵达了 without further ado Let's see the wonderful video presented by our friends from LTA
We hope you enjoyed that lovely video that showed all the wonderful rail connections that we'll soon be able to enjoy with the new Mayflower station that's going to be launched at the end of this month. That's right. And of course, I see that, you know, our residents are also very excited. Uh, via the comment section, we've got Ganesha who says, wow, I can't wait to visit the station once it's ready. And of course, uh, we've also got uh, Yashini who said, oh my God, yes, super excited. Can't wait. I know, right? It was absolutely wonderful. For those of you who are watching right now, of course, uh, we want to encourage you to like and share the page. All right, like and share this live stream. Get more of your friends to join us because there's wonderful prizes to win as well. Now, talking about wonderful prizes, we have our quiz once again and a chance for you to win more prizes right now. Now, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, do remember that you need to be on Facebook to take part in this. So do join us at go.gov.sg slash our Kerbun Baru or simply look for Kerbun Baru on Facebook. And of course, a quick note as well, there's a slight technical error just now. We just want to apologize for that, but the Facebook is now working fine. So do come and join us on Facebook to take part in this quiz right now. That's right. We've got two sets of uh, NTUC vouchers worth twenty dollars each to be given away right now, and we're going to start our first question for this round. And the question is: Listen carefully. What does the name Singapura, the original name of Singapore, mean? What does it mean? Ah, very easy. Two words. The answer two is words, two uh, words. Yes. The answer is two words. Okay. The answer is two words. Each word's got two syllables. Correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're making it so obvious, right? Mm -hmm. What it could be. Okay, and of course, the next question, well, this is a test of whether or not you've been paying attention to what we've been saying in the video that just took place earlier on. Question is, what is the name of the MRT station in Kaban Baru? What is the name of the MRT station in Kaban Baru? What is it indeed? All right, mm -hmm. if you're watching the program, you would probably know the answer. So that's a clue right there for you. So, of course, everybody, we will be moving on. And, of course, uh, right now, because, you know, it's National Day celebration, I guess it's only right that we do have a part on the anthem and the pledge. That's right. It's a mark of respect. We're going to celebrate our nationhood as Singaporeans. It's time for us to unite together once again. We're going to be singing our national anthem and, of course, uh, reciting our pledge. So, wherever you are right now, let us rise on our feet to do so.
pledge ourselves as one united people, regardless of race, language or religion, to build a democratic society based on justice and equality, so as to achieve happiness, prosperity, and progress for our nation. Wonderful. You know, I just absolutely love watching the National Anthem and listening to our pledge. You know, it brings me so many uh, nostalgic memories of my school days where we used to sing it Nothing. and uh, recite it every morning, right? During the school assembly, it's something that all Singaporeans do. And of course, uh, it really sets the mood to start your day every day. And on that happy note, I would like to now invite our grassroots advisor for Kerbin Baru. Mr. Henry Quack to say a few words in English and Mandarin. 没错，这时候呢，我们要把时间交给格本巴鲁基层组织顾问郭宪川先生，以中英双语向大家致辞。Good evening, everybody. 大家晚上好。The National Day celebration in Kerbin Baru is always one of the most important events. Every time we will have a huge celebration of CC, hundred tables, thousand residents. And that's something that we are very proud of. Of course, in the last two years, because of COVID, we have been able to do so in live telecast, but not in person. But we are at a good place right now. We have very high vaccination rates in Singapore today. I think moving forward within a few weeks, we will probably have eighty percent of our people being vaccinated. And once vaccines are approved for young children,、uh, that number will go up even higher. And we are we one of those few countries which have achieved a very high vaccination rate at the same time,、um, protecting our people's lives. Of course, if you know more, any more seniors who are not yet vaccinated, please encourage them to do so. And so we are transiting to a new norm where we have to both take care of not just our lives but the livelihoods of everybody here. Ah,、uh, 大家晚上好，我们呃。国庆节，呃的那个呃晚宴，通常是跟我们巴鲁我们一个重大的一个晚宴。偶尔我们办晚宴的时候，有成千个人居民和我们在一起共度呃庆祝国庆节。啊、呃，当然这两年来因为疫情的关系，我们不能呃面对面的见面。呃，可是我相信我们新加坡现在已经在处于一个很好的一个情况了。为什么呢？呃，过几个礼拜后，我们应该有八成的新加坡人已经呃。呃，接种疫苗，然后呢，等呃那个接种疫苗，如果我们再可以替我们小孩，在几个月后呢再接种疫苗，那个呃数目人数会更多。同个时候，我们也把我们的那，我们也确保我们的呃呃重病的那些新加坡人的人数啊、呃、维持到最小位置。然后呢，现在呢，我们呃要走向那个新的状况。新的状态，所以我希望这个时候我们也可以花时间，不只是保护我们的生命，而且我们要保护我们的那个事业，我们的那个呃 livelihood。那那我现在想第二段就是我们最近这几天要开幕，我们的那个 Mayflower MRT station 正要开幕了。呃，让我用英文讲。So in two weeks time, just two weeks time, we're going to open up our MRT station, Mayflower MRT station. Now, with seven entrance and and exits, it's the most number in Singapore. In fact, it feels practically a little bit like Hong Kong, right? With、uh, many many、uh, parts of、uh, the the Kebun Baru neighborhood connected up through the MRT station. Now, Kebun Baru is built on top of a hill, so that is beautiful. But over the years, as our seniors get、uh, older, we're more seniors. It's very difficult for people to traverse through. And that's why the seven entrance and exits, each one of them with a lift and escalators, will allow our people to、uh, navigate through、uh, Kebun Baru,、uh, even without crossing the roads, in a very safe and comfortable manner. Now, then the next thing people ask is, beyond Kebun Baru's Mayflower Station and the sheltered entry, what else is coming next? Well, we have done a lot to transform Kebun Baru in the last few years. We have built a CC, we have built a cycling path. We redesigned our colors of Kebun Baru's flats in a beautiful manner, and we have also refreshed Mayflower Mall. We have also built a new、uh, nature park at Thompson,、uh, Thompson Nature Park. But we're not done yet. We're not done building up Kebun Baru. So beyond Mayflower MRT station, next year we are refreshing our Mayflower Market. 
We are also upgrading the nearby Amokyo uh, Avenue 1 swimming pool. We are redesigning the colors for the rest of Cone Barrow. And uh, we are going to beautify and build out 244, 245 blocks. Uh, and within 115, where many of our most vulnerable seniors reside, we are in the process of uh, building an assisted living facility there, which is imagined like a vertical kampong, also a vertical nursing home. And we're also building up more flats, as well as more condos uh, in two different locations in Kumbaru. And the nearby Lantau MRT station, which also many Kumbaru residents visit, will also over time have a new shopping mall. So, and beyond this, next few years, we are embarking on something major called the remaking of the heartlands. And that's an effort to upgrade the entire Amokyo town in a systematic way. So therefore, that's why I say we're only at the halfway point of transforming Kabambaru. Now, let me share that in Mandarin. Uh, we MRT station. station 我们做好的我们的CC,我们做好我们的那个角色道,我们做把各门巴罗的一部分的主屋的颜色全新更改。然后呢,我们也把美华那个,呃,美华的Hawker Avenue 好像一个热领中心让他们可以受到最好的医药照顾还有确保他们有一定的服务的支持然后呢我们也在不同各门包不同角度也在建更多的主屋还有更多的私人住宅然后呢我们Lantau Station过后也会有一个小的一个购物中心 so now the third thing I, and the final thing I want to share is really our people. If we think about National Day, what is National Day really about? National Day is really about all of our Singaporeans, past and present, who come together to build the nation for what it is today. And in the last two years, one and a half years especially, most people agree that our country, our society, our people has adapted a lot. We have made so many changes. This morning I was at um, East Coast Park with my son. And when I was by the beaches, I see so many extra things that's built to deal with COVID so that we people can enjoy the beaches but in a safe manner. And that got me thinking, when we talk about all this change and adaption, behind all this change and adaption are dedicated Singaporeans who made those changes for the good of all of us. And in Kumbun Baru, during this last one and a half years, we have done so much for those in need. And this includes a massive outreach to our seniors to persuade them to be vaccinated. By massive, I don't mean we knocked there once. We went there probably six to seven times on the same households trying to persuade them to be vaccinated. 
By that, we also mean a lot of mail distribution efforts to the most vulnerable, even during circuit breaker. By that, it means we mobilize a lot of people, our volunteers, to distribute many things that needed to reach our residents, also to specifically reach out to those who need help, right? And this is not just Singaporeans, but also the migrant workers staying within us. And so when you think about all this change and adaption, you're basically thinking dedicated, your fellow neighbors who are dedicated, the volunteers who are dedicated. And so today we want to use this chance to thank all of you who have served in the last two years, especially. And we have a long service award later on to thank our long service volunteers. And in particular, I want to thank two volunteers who are given the prestigious National Day Award. Uh, they are basically uh, Miss Heidi, as well as uh, uh, Miss Iris New. So Heidi has been a long-serving grassroots leader in Kumbau, outstanding grassroots leader since her youth. She has contributed in so many ways, and she was also familiar to many of you as the, our MC for many events. Uh, and she has won the BBML Award, which is the highest level award for grassroots. Now, then there's also Miss Iris. Iris is not just operating a vegetable stall in the market, but she's also a part-time social worker who helps a lot of people. And under her guidance, uh, the market uh, association has transformed itself in the last few years. And you can see our market becoming better and better by the day. So we want to thank Heidi and for and, and Iris for their contribution and for all our volunteers uh, for the contribution to uh, the fight against COVID. Now, let me say that in Mandarin. We我们的新加坡人说服我们新加坡人要他们去接种疫苗这代表不只是新加坡人也我们当中的一些外国的一些老公所以我们的义工们都很踊跃的帮助他们所以我今天也想借用这个机会来感谢我们大家的义工我们当会也会颁发长期服务奖除了长期服务奖以外我今天要特
to carry the torch on for Singapore. And recently, I checked in with some of them, and they have told me that they are very, very heartened to see our country, despite all the adversities, coming together as one people, one nation, and with this newfound resilience and solidarity, we will be able to fix whatever challenges that we see in the road ahead together. So happy National Day to all of everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Because a very big congratulations to Heidi and Iris. I know Heidi is watching online with us as well. Congratulations to you. And of course, everybody, um, right now we'll need to proceed on with the cake cutting ceremony. So I'd like to invite advisor to come join us, please. We've got this beautiful cake over here. You know, it's it's essential for our celebration. So unfortunately, we cannot sing happy birthday song, but we hope to share our joy. So sir, could you please help us in three, two, one. Happy birthday, Singapore! Thank you so much, sir. That was very nice. Thank you. You may take a break now. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Please be careful. Uh, 所以呢,非常谢谢我们的基层主持顾问呢,跟我们分享了那么多. And of course, I'm feeling a bit lonely. Where is my co-host? Come over soon. Okay, meanwhile, everybody, uh, we've seen lots of love that you're sharing via the comment section. Thank you so much, okay? Um, a lot of them are all saying happy birthday Singapore right now. That's right. So wonderful. Of course, uh, a birthday celebration can't be without a birthday cake. We've got a lovely birthday cake right over here. I absolutely love it. And of course, uh, we're going to celebrate with some more wonderful quizzes as well. Give our viewers chances to win some more prizes. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, do remember that you need to be on Facebook to take part in this wonderful quiz game. Join us at go.gov.sg slash ourkabunbaru or simply look for Our Kabun Baru on Facebook. Now, we're going to be selecting one winner with the correct answer for each question. And of course, we'll be receiving some wonderful, cool vouchers. Do remember to stay all the way to the end of our program if you want to find out if you are one of our winners. Let's start with our first question for $20. Oh, this is really, really simple, okay? The question is, what is the name of our grassroots advisor of Kerban Baru? You've seen him earlier on. What is his name? That's right. Just now he gave a very, very wonderful speech. And if you uh, listen to him in both English and Mandarin, now we need you to tell us what is his name. Please make sure that you type it into the comments and you might be winning the prize. Now, of course, uh, for the next question, this is going to be the sixth question. We are going to increase the amount by $10, right? Earlier mm -hmm. on, we were giving away $20 vouchers. From the sixth question onwards, we're going to give away $30 NPUC vouchers. And this next question is, how long is the term of Singapore's president? How long ah, is it? Okay, so everybody, we hope you've got that down. So be sure to write down your answers via Facebook, okay? So you need to head on over to our Kaban Baru Facebook page, write down in the comment section in order to have a chance to win the lovely vouchers. So you want to go to our Facebook page, our Kaban Baru, and then you will have to write your answer to win the lovely vouchers. That's right. Do stay tuned. Of course, we've got some more quizzes coming up. But for now, it's time for our evening's entertainment. And uh, to kick that off, we have with our special guest band led by Elaine Chan, award-winning composer and musical director of the National Day Parade 2013. And of course, uh, she's also the director of the well-known musical Dim Sam Dollies. Joining her as well are the singers Chen Yi, Tolin Ang, and Sita Guru Susanta Chowdhury. 没错，所以呢，这时候呢，我们将会以将会通过一系列的国庆歌曲，一同欢庆国庆佳节。希望呢，在收看的你也可以跟着我们大声唱出你对新加坡满满的爱。All right, let's enjoy.
next song is only by Carol King, You've Got a Friend. When you're down in trouble and you need a loving hand, oh, nothing, oh, nothing is going right. Close your eyes and think of me, and soon I will be there to brighten up even your dark. Oh, oh, you just call on my name And you know wherever I am I'll come running in To see you again Yes, baby A winter, spring, summer, or fall And all you got to do is call And I'll be If the sky above you should turn dark and full of clouds, in it all, love which should begin to glow. So keep your heads together. And call my name out loud, and soon I'll be knocking on your door. Yeah, baby, you just call out my name, and you know wherever I am, I'll come running. Yeah, baby, to see you again. What do you say, everybody? A win the spring, summer, or fall, and all you've got to do is call, and I'll be there, yes, I will, and it is good to know that you've got a friend, but people can be so cold, do hurt you, and desert you, do take your sword and do let them, Oh, don't you let them oh, You just call out my name And you know wherever I am I'll come running, running, running To see you again Yeah, baby I'll win the spring, summer, or fall And all you've got to do is call And I'll be That was You Got a Friend, something by Carol King, together with the band Simply Six. Right, the next song I'm going to do is a Malay song called Getaran Jiwa, which is also known as Yearning Heart. Which um, Yearning Heart is a song by Rambly, which is also a theme song from a movie called Between Two Classes, which tells the story of a humble musician falling in love with a wealthy girl. So I hope you like this. <laughs> Susun arah irama dalagu, walau hadiah sederhana tetap tidak mengapa engkau dapat membangkitkan serak kamu insan. Tak mungkin hilang irama dalam lagu, bagai kemal sentiasa bermadu. Apa ini bisa mengubah irama? Nada tiada berjiwa. Oh, oh, oh. 
you. That was Gataran Jiwa. Right, the next song is a very meaningful song because it talks about different races coming together to call Singapore our home, and that's Singai Nadu. It's also our honor to invite Guru Susanta Chowdhury to join me at the band on a sit up for the next song. Susanta Chowdhury has done Master of Arts with Gold Medal in Music from Delhi University and is also an empaneled artist for the Indian Council of Cultural Relations. He has won many top prizes in prestigious competitions all over India and has performed all over the world. Currently a master tutor in Singapore Indian Fine Arts Society. So let's put our hands together and welcome Susanta Chowdhury. Again, we have Malay song, we had an Indian song, now we have some Chinese numbers. Hello,我是Chang Ping,大家晚上好。那很开心今天能够来到这里,跟大家一起度过我们的国庆聚会。接下来带来这首我们是一连串的组曲,非常熟悉的一些歌曲。那第一首送给大家,这首是 
，阳光总在风雨后。是剧的一首歌曲，不过呃，久而久之，我们唱了都非常的耳熟能详，呃，让我想起我非常骄傲的新加坡 ，proud to be a Singaporean， 啊、uh, ，because this is where my home is， 这是城里的月光。心上某一个地方，总有个记忆挥不散。每个深夜某一个地方，总有着最深的思念。世间万千的变幻，爱我有情的人分。难断，是我找到离奇的方向，哪怕不能够朝夕相伴。城里的月光把梦照亮，轻弯弯弹琴放。看透了人间聚散，能不能多点快乐片段？城里的月光把梦照亮，轻手抚弹翅膀。若有一天能重逢，让幸福散。城里的月光的确很美，对不对？<笑>那呃，我们在对抗疫情的时候，其实一切是很不容易。可是我相信呢，我们只要有爱，决定一定行。所以今天第三首歌曲送给你们这一这一份爱的礼物。是我的一颗心，爱不离情深，永不移。有一份爱的礼物，我要把它献给你。那是我的一颗心，海枯石烂，永不移。创造一个爱的奇迹。下一个爱的回忆，希望你把我
的心，放在我的心坎里。要一份爱的礼物，我要把它献给你，那是我的情和意。你要对他多珍惜。那是我的情和意，你要对他多珍惜。爱的礼物送给大家 ，Thank you very much。呃，祝福大家一个非常非常开心的呃国庆佳节，祝福我们国运昌盛，国泰民安 ，Stay healthy。And、uh, if you enjoyed that, all right, show some love in the comments. So just click the heart icon on your Facebook to send them your love. And you know what? Up next, Corinne,、uh, we want to now recognize some really special people that truly deserve your love. They're the ones that make many of the events and initiatives here in Kebun Baru possible. Now these are our long-serving volunteers, some of whom have been with us. Even before Corinne and I were actually <laughs> born, you know, even before we were born, they were already serving Kebun Baru because、uh, the people you're about to see in this long service video have not just served ten or twenty years. Some have even served in Kebun Baru for forty and even fifty years. That's almost as old as Singapore itself. 没错，所以呢，接下来呢，我们想要向我们哥本巴乳呢非常棒的呃一些居民朋友呢致敬。他们一路以来呢，呃，就是不论辛苦啊，都前来参与我们各种各样的活动，想要呢就是建造出更美好的家园啊、呃，让我们哥本巴乳的各个家庭呢更有很多不同的机会，让大家呢齐聚一堂。所以呢，这里头呢，我们就要通过影片向他们致敬。Let's watch this video of our long-service volunteers.
There were times we were uncertain, but we just kept walking on. It's always darkest just before the dawn. See this silence, every brain said, hear this unfold. It's the voices of our friends, whatever, on the road ahead, did it before. The garden always grows to the light. Though the road ahead is daunting, I know we're gonna be alright. See the silence, everything keeps us Thank you, of course, uh, once again to all our wonderful long servant Kebun Baru volunteers. We salute you and we hope that you're showing them some love right now on Facebook. What are our friends saying over there? Wow, you know, we've got so many wonderful words all coming in. Uh, a lot of them saying a big thank you to all of the volunteers. Um, that includes from Marcus, Iris, Zubaida, as well as, uh, you know, I see I borrowed. I Abi Rami, okay, all saying thank you to all of our volunteers. And of course, a very big hello to all of our friends on Facebook as well. We've got Eric, Drusilla, SF, Elizabeth, Lei Intra, Heidi, Helen, Davis, Atherin. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. And you know, to reward you right now, you know, we're going to go straight for our next quiz segment and a chance for you to win more amazing prizes. Now, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, do remember that you need to be on Facebook to take part in this. So do join us at go.gov.sg slash our Kebun Baru or simply look for Kebun Baru or our Kebun Baru on Facebook. We're going to be selecting one winner, the correct answer for each question. And of course, to stay all the way till the end of our program because we'll be announcing the winners over there, over then. 没错，所以大家如果说你是通过YouTube来观赏我们今天节目的话呢，现在赶紧来到Facebook页面，我们脸书页面哈，直接寻找啊，Kevin that's right. So stay tuned all the way to the end, and now we're going to start with the V two questions and uh, for these two questions, remember you get to win a thirty dollar NTUC voucher mm -hmm. if you get the correct answer and you're selected as one of our lucky winners. The first question is, okay, this is something about public agencies, government. Which public agency looks after cleanliness and environmental issues? Ah, don't give us the short form. We want a full name. The full name. The yes. full name. The short form a lot of us can type out, right? Yes. We want the full name. What could it be? They look after the environmental issues and cleanliness. And of course, the next question is, you know, now that Olympics is uh, still happening in fact. That's so right. I think this question is very apt right now. The question is, who is Singapore's only gold medalist at the Olympics? Very simple, the swimming guy. <laughs> The swimming guy. Is mm. it uh, Michael Phelps? No? no, he's not representing Singapore. <laughs> our pride, our glory. Sorry, our I, can't, pride, I, I, can't, glory. I can't say his name. Yeah, we mm -hmm. can't say his name, but I can tell that you're a big fan <laughs> of this guy. Definitely. All I right. think he has done us proud. So if you know his name, then key it into the comment section right now. That's right. Okay, well done. Of course, uh, thank you to everybody uh, for participating. And we're going to move on with our next exciting segment now for our entertainment coming up we are going to have a next performance by Kebun Baru's Dike Barat group 
of singers, dancers, and musicians. 没错，那接下来呢，我们就要有请马来同胞为我们带来一个说唱表演。Dick and Bara， 一起来看一看吧。Lagu suara melakukan warna-warna ceria. Thank you so much to our fantastically talented DK Barad group for that wonderful, energetic performance. And of course,、uh, coming up next, we're going to have a very special segment where our Kerbin Bar residents share their favorite photos and, of course, showcase their musical talent in home recorded videos as well. Now, some of the best submissions will be winning prizes at the end of tonight, and、uh, there was an overwhelming number of submissions. So some editing was necessary, so everyone can be included. And right after that, you'll also be playing a. Photo montage of events and activities in and around Kebun Baru, a recollection of pre-COVID activities and also present-day togetherness during the pandemic. 没错，那当然说呢，因为疫情的关系，我们没有办法好好的就是面对面齐聚一堂，对不对？可是呢，我们还是非常开心，因为哥本巴鲁里头呢，就像之前有说过，我们真的是卧虎藏龙啊！因为呢，就有好多位居民呢，都向我们申报了不同的一些照片，也包括了影片，所以呢，我们也感受到大家满满的爱，真的非常非常感谢能够收到那么热烈的回响啊！所以呢，接下来，哎，我们就聚集大家所有棒的作品。放在一个影片里头，希望大家呢可以好好的欣赏。另外呢，我们也放起了另一个影片呢，就是让大家来看一下哈，我们在疫情之前还有疫情当下所举行的一些活动，一起来回顾一下吧。It isn't easy building something out of nothing, especially when the road ahead's a rocky one. But if we gather all our courage and conviction and hold our dream up high, the challenge will be won. So now we look around us and we see a nation built with love by you and me. A land to treasure right down to the core. Our home, our heart, our Singapore. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
Too many years gone by, we moved ahead together. We built a brand new world where we could shine and grow. And now we only have to look towards tomorrow to carry on the dream as far as it will go. Oh, so now we look around us and we see a nation built with love by you. Oh, sing a hoorah, three flowers bloom for you and me. Please don't get on, I ain't never rude. Please don't get on, I ain't never rude. Shine and grow, and now we only have to look towards tomorrow to carry on the dream as far as it will go. Oh, so when the rainbow rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway like a lazy ocean hugs the shore. Hold me close, sway me more. Other dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I go we. Our 
It's always darkest just before the dawn. I see this light, every grain of sand. Hear this sound fall. It's the voices of our friends. Hope you enjoyed that wonderful video. Of course, uh, that lovely montage just now was a recap of all the wonderful activities in and around Kebun Baru, both pre-COVID and during the pandemic itself. And before that, the video before that was a wonderful feature of our residents and their wonderful talents. I mean, I saw some very, very talented people. We got people singing Italian opera. We got people playing a saw. I've never seen anyone do that in my life. I think. That is probably the first time I've seen that. And of course, that talented resident stays right here in Kebun Bar. And what are our friends in Facebook saying? We've got a lot of one wonderful responses on Facebook. A big hello to Yako, Vijaya. We've got Wilfred, Jesse, Susan, Don Tiong, SF Tan, Ho Yok Ping, Han Yi Yen. All of them are trying very hard to win some prizes through our Q&A over here. Absolutely wonderful. And if you are looking forward to win some uh, wonderful prizes, we have our next quiz segment right now. And you can win $30 worth of shopping vouchers if you are uh, selected as our correct uh, lucky winner with the correct answer. Mm -hmm. And that starts with our first question. What is it, Corinne? This is not that easy, okay? So guys, you may need to do a quick Google search. The question is, what does Kaban Baru actually mean? Hmm. Mm, what does it mean? What does Kebun Baru actually mean? Yeah, saya tak tahu. <laughs> saya tak tahu. You know, if, if I were to uh, logically think, I would think that, you know, if jo what does Johor Baru mean? Then I will think about what Kebun Baru means. Then probably <laughs> I might be able to somehow get the answer. So what does it mean? What does Kebun Baru mean? And okay. the second question, oh, this one is really not uh, that easy. And the answer, so the question is, where was the location of Singapore's first Grand Prix? Uh -huh. We'll give you a little Whoa. hint over here. It is not Marina Bay. <laughs> not Marina Bay. So where could it be? Oh, this is a very, very tricky one. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So guys, be sure to fill in your answers in the comment section. Good luck. And we'll find out exactly who walks home with the shopping vouchers later on. For now, we do have a special program. Would you like to tell us more? That's right, we have a very, very wonderful, magical performance. So, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy a magical performance by one of our Singapore's top magicians, the mystifying Imran. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Wow, it's National Day. My goodness, I didn't believe that I'm going to be here just for you guys. Let me introduce myself. My very good friend of mine just introduced me. My name is Imran, the mystifying Imran. Yes, today is National Day. Come on, let's celebrate. Come on, everybody. Show your heart. All the way. String up, string up, string up. Yes, press the heart thing and so on. We're going to celebrate the National Day today. Let me share to you uh, a story of mine. Okay, how do I start learning magic? Uh, whereby, you know, it's about 56 years in National Day. It's about birthday for everybody. Just like today, right? So, on my birthday, normally, I do have candles. And that's very important, eh? <laughs> you can't have it, have uh, not have a birthday with candles. Yep, there you go. And of course, the white cloth is as if like it's a brand new day. Just for you guys, if you forget about the National Day, 
they're not supposed to be the it must be having a candle. Yes, let me share it to you again. There's a candle. Yes. <laughs> let me share it to you. If I have one candle right here, and of course, again, and again, and again, we're going to celebrate. In a birthday cake, we cannot have only one candle. We need to have two candles. Come on, really. <laughs> I can see some of you like, <laughs> you jaw drop. <laughs> yes, we must have three, two, three candles. Uh, two, two, two candles, three candles. You have one, three? We have three? The second one, one more there, and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, happy birthday, Singapore! <laughs> right, it's a bit hot right here. I'm not supposed to have some some um, fire along this this thing. Yep, let's get it things done. Right about magic, I would love to share to you guys. Okay, we have like uh, some uh, miracles that I love to share to you guys. Whereby you see, I have the sound. I must have a magic one, right, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, okay? The magic one make miracles happen. Yes. That's why we are celebrating this year. Although last year we have so many things about this pandemic way, uh, there's no way they can stop us. We can we can need to celebrate today. Yes. We are by the, <laughs> the magic one can disappear from there, from here, and appear from like a ball. You can see the bounce like a ball. Life is like a ball. It's round. Sometimes it's here and sometimes it's gone. <laughs> I told you it's gone. <laughs> and sometimes it reappears again, again and again. And sometimes you can see, you, can, you cannot see the ball. Okay. Sometimes our life can duplicate. Yep, let me show it to you. Duplicate as this, duplicate as that. You change here, change that, change here, pump it here, pump it that. You appear here, appear that. Everywhere you can appear again. Appear and sometimes it appear inside from the box. I told you it's from the box. <laughs> I told you it's from the box. Bye bye. You can duplicate so many of them. Yes, thank you very much. And times of this pandemic, we are juggling so many work at all time. We got confused with all time. But to tell you the truth, we are still there. We are still there to make it disappear forever hopefully we're gonna go on stage live for you guys very very soon but before we're gonna end the show okay before the end the show i have the finale egg because it's national day we're gonna celebrate come on yes let me ladies and gentlemen boys and girls what you about to see is real magic <laughs> if you talk about uh the magic you must have a magic word come try to type try to type inside the comments okay what is the latest magic word come on come on uh, it's not abracadabra. Abracadabra expired already. It must have, have a new one. Okay, have a new one. Come on, come on, come on. I can see some comments. Uh, apple, banana. Hey, you guys hungry? Yeah? <laughs> I, I, I stay hungry also. <laughs> it's hocus pocus. Not many people know about that. Let me share it to you guys. We're going to celebrate today. National Day just for you guys. I don't need this two tube. There's two items I would like to share, share to you, you guys. The first one is the bottle. Yes, it's the bottle. And you have to have the bottle. You need to have a glass. Yes, this is called a teleportation one. I'm going to try to change this glass into this bottle and this bottle into this glass with this two tube. Watch, it's magic. The first one over the bottle, the second one over the glass. The bottle and the glass, the bottle and the glass. Watch, hocus pocus. It changed place. When I would love to change it, yeah. The bottle changed into the glass and the glass, the glass changed into the bottle. Thank you. <laughs> I know what you're thinking of. That was the easy part. But the most difficult part about this magic is to change back to their original position. <laughs> focus, focus. Wow, the glass changed into the bottle and the bottle changed into the glass. Why got no paper clap? Huh? It's okay, it's okay. Uh, human being, they want to see visual of this magic. The first one over the bottle, this is going to be over the glass. The bottle and the glass. The bottle and the glass. Focus, focus. When the glass can change into the bottle and the bottle can change into the glass and the glass can change into the bottle and the bottle can change into the glass again. We got a party today, man. Yes. <laughs> you want me to do it again? You want me to do it again? All right. All right. Okay, good. The first one I'm going to show it to you. All right. I'm going to show it to you. The first one is going to be over the bottle. Simple as that. And the second one. Is... Uh, uh, -da. <laughs> I think I screwed up. Uh, okay, now uh, I got extra bottles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm just acting like a magician. You 
can never happen without extra bottles. <laughs> ah, magic happened in our life, um, but not today. <laughs> but at times, a miracle do happen when the glass. Oh, I guess screw up today in life. Virtual show, my community is the worst uh, show I ever had. Maybe I cannot change things up because why? When the glass is here. And the bottle is here, and the extra bottle is here. I cannot change things up. But for national day, sick of national day, the glass can change into the bottle, and the bottle can change into the glass, and the glass can change into the bottle, and the bottle can change into a glass again. Thank you. <laughs> I know I'm damn good. Okay, many people ask me, why can't I use one thing? Why I must use two to change position a bit? Watch. Very clearly, and the glass can see change into the bottle, uh -huh. and the bottle can see change into the glass, and the glass can see change into the bottle again, and the bottle can change into a glass again. I can do it over and over again when the glass can change into the bottle, and the bottle can change into the glass. All you need to know if I have one more extra bottle right here, and the glass can see change into the bottle, and the bottle can change into the glass. All you need to know if I have one more extra bottle right here, and the glass can change into the bottle, and the bottle can change into the glass. All you need to know if I have one more extra bottle right here. Am I talking too fast? My tongue is very fast. And the glass can change into the bottle, and the bottle can change into the glass. All you need to do is I have one more extra bottle right there, and one more extra bottle right here, and that's what people call just water. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna party for today. We're gonna party because it's National Day. Yes, as a magician, I would love to wish everybody a common baru, right? Happy National Day and happy. Uh, God bless all of us. We're gonna see you guys again. I'm back to MC. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you so much, uh, Imran, for that amazingly magical performance. I never get tired of watching him in action. You know, that was absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Imran, for entertaining us. And now it's time to appreciate and reward some of our residents for the generous sharing of their creative photos and talent showcases, which you watched just now. Now, all of these uh, submissions are truly impressive. And of course, it's been a challenging task as well to select the award winners. And we have three winners right now, which we are going to present for the photo and video category. That's right. And of course, the winners are in no order of merit. A very big congratulations to all of them. So we'll start first with the best pictures category. And of course, uh, we'd like to congratulations to Burning Rays by Dishon To at Ang Avenue 3. And of course, we also have Animals at Lower Piers by Russell at Old Upper Thompson Road. And last but not least, I Love Carbon Baru by Ong Lee Tae at Amokyo Avenue 3. Now, on top of these three winners, we'll also like to give a special shout out to uh, Naomi Fu, who has brought us Mooncake Festival celebration. Unfortunately, um, there's no prize, but nonetheless, we very much appreciate your submission. Wonderful. And now for the video section, not in order of merit, we have Living Through COVID at Kerbun Baru by Rita G from Mayflower Avenue. We also have uh, from Bishan Park, or should I say the, the, the uh, uh, project is called Bishan Park. It's by Narinda from AMK Street 11. So that's Angmokyo Street 11. And of course, we also have Come Back to Sorrento. That was sung in Italian by Corey from Nemiso Avenue. And of course, we also have a special mention, a very, very cute uh, kids from KB Sparkle Tots, Block 180 AMK, Rainbow in Us. The kids at Street 11, Amokyo Street 11, of course, with their National Day dance as well. A special mention, no prize, but we still want to appreciate your wonderful creativity. And of course, right now, I guess everybody is waiting for this moment because we are going to reveal exactly which of you are walking home with our Q&A prizes. Okay, so let's uh, reveal the answer as well as the winners together, shall we? Let's do that. Okay, so the first question was, what is the name of the building that's known as Duran? The answer is... The answer is the Esplanade. And congratulations to Ratna Rajan. Wonderful. Congratulations. The second question was, where is Singapore's highest point? And the answer is Bukit Tima. Congratulations to Chi Chiu Chuan. Well done. And of course, third question, what is the meaning of Singapore? The meaning of Singapore is, of course, Lion City. 
And congratulations to Easy Xu. I Z Z Y face H S U U. Oh wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. That one was for Jonathan Kong. But Easy Xu, you have won for the next question. And uh, that question is actually what's the name of the MRT station in Kabambaru? Well, the MRT station in Kabambaru, of course, is Mayflower. Mm -hmm. Oh, the next question is a giveaway. What's the name of our grassroots advisor at Kabambaru? The name of our grassroots advisor in Kabambaru, everyone should know his name is Nana Ren Henry Quack. Congratulations to Ganesha Meng. And of course, next question, how long is the term of Singapore's president? That's a very good question. The answer is six years. Congratulations to Jonathan Tan. And of course, which agency looks after cleanliness and environmental issues? They are none other than the National Environment Agency. I saw some of you guys put National Environmental Agency, mm. but the correct answer actually is National Environment Agency. That's right. Congratulations to Teresa Lim for getting that right. And uh, next one is, who is Singapore's only gold medalist at Olympics? Somebody wrote Ang Ping Xiong. Sorry, yeah, wrong. <laughs> wrong. Good try, but wrong. Okay, so what's the correct answer? The correct answer is none other than the guy that appears in that razor advertisement. That is, of course, Joseph Schooling. Congratulations to Abi Rani. And next one is, what does Kabambaru mean? What does it mean? That's a very good question. It actually means New Garden, and it was called uh, formerly Kampong Kebun Baru. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Vivian Chu. And of course, the last question, do you have that one? I do have the question, and that was uh, when, where, or what was the location of the Singapore's first Grand Prix? And the answer is... Old Upper Thompson Road. Now, this one is actually, I think, quite a quali uh, challenging question. And uh, unfortunately, none of you got it correct. But we found somebody who was fast enough to give us a close enough answer. So congratulations to Yi Chun Huang. He has put down as Upper Thompson Road. Okay, la, we give it to you. You just miss out one O. <laughs> That's right. Very, very close. And you know, it's actually a very difficult question because that first Singapore Grand Prix happened all the way back in 1961. Yes, indeed. So once again, everybody, just uh, to conclude, a very big congratulations to the following winners. They include Ratna Rajan, Chi Chiu Chuan, Jonathan Kong, Izzy Shi, Ganesha Mack, Jonathan Tan, Teresa Lim, Abirani, Vivian Chu, and Yi Chun Huang. Well done. Congratulations to all our wonderful winners. And of course, the relevant staff in charge will be contacting you to uh, collect your prizes. That's right. So please keep a lookout for your Facebook inbox uh, because we will be contacting you via Facebook messaging. Wonderful. And of course, uh, that brings us to the end of today's exciting program. And I got to say that Corinne and I, we had so much fun playing with you, celebrating with you, and of course, uh, entertaining everyone in Kebun Baru. And we hope that you enjoyed yourself as well. Now, before we go, a very, very quick reminder. Do remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and get vaccinated if you haven't already. 没错,朋友们,我们今天节目已经来到尾声,再次感谢所有收看节目的你,真的非常开心,陪着大家共度国庆佳节。最后呢,想要预祝大家呢,身体健康哦,所以如果说还没有打疫苗的话,快快快快快
remember your tokens, stow it safely in your pocket, you'll be using it up. Let's trace, let's trace, let's vaccinate. Let's trace, let's trace, let's vaccinate. Let's trace, let's trace, let's vaccinate. Ensure your mobile phone is all glitched on. I'll check in with this app before I'm done with this rap. We'll speed up vaccinations for the young and the old. When it's your turn to jab, be brave, just go. In the likely event of our country reopening, vaccinate, stay safe, it'll keep Singapore going. Let's trace, let's trace, let's vaccinate. 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 In the new normal, COVID-19 will not dominate our lives. To keep our people safe, while reopening progressively, we have to test, we have to trace, we have to vaccinate. To everyone in Singapore, thank you for playing your part. Let's move safely into the new normal, because no virus will keep us apart. Let's